Hi everybody, this is Matt from Race Splitter. In this video today we're going to be looking at how Race Splitter can be used to record multiple split times and track multiple laps in races. So we have a test race set up here and we'll get it started. Okay, so the race is off and the racers are on their first lap. Here comes racer number two, we'll time him. Here comes racer number three, time her, and racer number one. Now we notice as, as we record these times, Race Splitter is showing us that we're recording these, uh, these timing entries for lap one. In addition, it shows us um, the overall position of the racer. And I'm, currently, I'm 5.1 seconds behind the leader. Uh, it also shows me that I'm in second place in my category. Again, 5.1 seconds behind the leader in my category. So let's imagine on this first lap that we've missed racer number four. Somehow they they went by and we didn't time them. So the racers are actually now on lap two. So let's time racer number one again. The lap number updates to, to two. Here comes racer number three, racer number two. And now here comes racer number four. So we timed them. Since Race Splitter hasn't seen this racer already, it puts their time back in lap one. Now we know that's incorrect. We know that, that she's on lap two. So let's go and correct that. So we change the lap number to two. Let's hit save. Now if we look at our standings, we see correctly that racer number four was not included in split one, but they were included in split two right there. So everything's looking good. So let's take this opportunity to, um, to talk about a couple of ways in which laps can be used. In Nordic ski racing, for example, um, racers tend to, uh, the tracks are set up so that racers go around and around in laps. Coaches use Race Splitter to track their racers, and on each lap they can tell them uh, how many seconds they are behind the leader. So that's a, a typical race in which real laps are used. Um, I've used the split feature myself, for example, uh, when timing a trail running race, where I was stationed at the peak of a mountain, and it was a point that racers went by twice. So they, they climbed up the mountain, I timed them, that was considered lap one, then they went down the mountain, ran around the field, came back up the mountain, and I timed them again. Now in that case, these weren't laps, but rather these were multiple intermediate times. But I was using the, the multiple split or multiple lap feature of Race Splitter in order to be able to take more than one intermediate time during the race. So that's a, a, a different kind of use for, uh, for, for laps and split times. And most recently, we've seen that in the sport of paddling, people are also using the lap feature to, um, as a workaround to support races that have variable start times. So what they'll do is they'll start the race, and um, then they will record the first time for each racer as their starting time. And then when they finish, they'll record a second split time for the racer as their ending time. Now in that case, Race Splitter can't show um, the actual elapsed race time for each racer, but what they'll do is they will export the results in, uh, in CSV and then make that computation offline. So that's even yet another um, unexpected uh, way that people are using the multiple lap and multiple split time support in Race Splitter. Now as one final example, let's continue in this race here and let's time racer 2 again and racer 3 and racer one one more time and then let's stop the race now look at these standings we've got all racers tracked in lap two only two of the racers have been timed in lap three and one racer in lap four now what kind of race could this happen in well a lot of times people have races which are not fixed in distance but rather fixed in time so the ra the winner of the race is the one who ran the most laps in a particular given in, in an hour or in 24 hours so uh, in this particular race it looks like this it looks like uh, we just timed a race of that type now if I publish these results right now to the internet if I went over here and I click publish and I sent these to racesplitter.com the results would um, for all racers other than racer with bib number one they would be shown as did not finish so race splitter would assume that anyone who was not timed in split in, in lap number four did not finish the race. 
Well, we can correct for that by going back to the configuration area and changing the race type to fixed distance. Now, the only thing this affects in race splitter is the display of the results. Now that I've changed this to a fixed distance race, if I go now and uh, publish these to, to, to the internet, no racers will be shown as did not finished, but all of the races will be sorted according to the number of laps that they actually completed. So uh, that's, a, that's another feature of, of race splitter. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please go to help.racesplitter.com and uh, be sure to, to uh, send us an email through there. Thanks and have a good day.